nice. Father. Nice. 13 months, baby. Hey everybody, it's your boy, Tyler McVicker. How you guys doing today? Oh man, I know we haven't talked in a couple of days. I have been just working my butt off getting this uh, Return to Ravenholm Opposing Force 2 uh, thing done. I didn't get a haircut, by the way. Hi, hi, how you doing? So, I wanna show you something, and it might crash. So here's, um. Here's my desktop. Nice. Nice. I'm honestly tired of beta mods. Yeah. Yeah, unless the game is awful, then we don't need 20 different beta mods. Also 13 months. Love, Sir Perry. Love, Sir Perry. Love you too, Sir Perry. So this is the Vegas save. It actually takes... Look at how long it takes to fucking load the save. Look at this. It's still going. It might fucking crash, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Still going. This is a fucking really- oh, not responding. This is such a powerful computer. This is the most powerful computer I've ever owned in my lifetime. Oh. Did we- oh, there- oh. That- eh, bit, eh, eh. Uh, almost, almost. We're cashing in the files. Cashing it. Oh, oh, but, but, oh, almost there. Almost there. Here we go. Oh, we're still loading. Jeez. Oh, almost, almost. And, 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 ah! Uh, all right, we're there. Uh, set a timer for four hours, please. So this is the video. Uh, it's done. It took, I think, four straight days of non-stop work to finish up. Wait, you're not using the desktop I made you? Sad Sir Perry. Sorry. No, I'm not. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's done. It took four straight days of work, and it's rendered, it's uploaded, it's set, it's up on Patreon right now if you want to watch it early. Um, but, um, we could... We could watch it together as a group if we hit our donation goal. And as an extra treat, I will talk about Wednesday's video in detail, the first episode of the Team Fortress 2 cut content series, and exactly what I'm doing with it to make it different from literally every cut content video you've ever seen from anyone else. So exclamation point, donate in the chat if you wanna be able to try and get that going. If we hit the dono goal, we will literally watch through this entire video all 21 minutes of it as a group just right now all right so um we have a couple mods that we're going to be playing today i downloaded a bunch 
of new stuff. Um, Dark Interval just released its public alpha for part two. We're going to be taking a look at that. Half-Life 2 Build 2001 is not Team Fortress 2 Classic. Here's something that pisses me off about Steam. It can't handle source mods much anymore. For some reason, if you install mods, it'll like move your shit around and change the groupings of things. It's so fucking annoying. So like I set this obviously for Team Fortress 2 Classic, but then I installed more mods and it changed the cover art of a new mod I installed. Why? Why? Why'd you do that? So we have some mods downloaded that we can play. We got Dark Interval Part 2 Public Alpha. We got Half-Life 2 Build 01. We have Hunt Down the Freeman Director's Cut. Uh, we have Lost Industry 2, Rebel Surge. Uh, yeah, and so those are the ones we're going to be playing today. We're not going to be playing any VR today because my room is an absolute fucking nightmare mess. Anyways, um, so we're going to get started with the, the thing that was sent to me. The Dark Interval people literally just put this out. Um, it is the um, Dark Interval Public Alpha for Part 2. And uh, we're going to turn the volume to a comfortable level. And this is part two of a mod that we've played in the past. Uh, so let's get going. This is the public alpha of part two. All right. So we went up a, an elevator from the looks of things. Okay. Remember when Half-Life 2 mods were not just beta recreations? I do. What? <laughs> okay, that was kind of cool. Fuck you. Alright, so, um, there's a whole, like, two and a half hour long mod that takes place before this bit. Um, and, uh, yeah, so this is beta, uh, Dark Interval, which is entirely original and attempts to remake, like, from scratch, everything. So, it, it's like a, it's like a beta mod in spirit. Uh, but it's, it's, it, it just takes the concepts of things. And this is, this was a public alpha that they just posted on their Discord server today. It's just the first four maps of part two, or episode two or whatever. Apparently, this is uh, only a very small portion of what the entirety of part two is going to be. I have not played any of this before. I didn't take, I didn't really look at anything uh, before I, you know, started the stream. You need at least 15 cores for power. What? Are you interested in the Jurassic Life mod for Half-Life 2? I can't say that I have heard of it, but probably not, if I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a big Jurassic Park fan. Um, big open area, something that you don't really see in, uh, in Half-Life 2 very often. Likely for performance reasons, but... So this is essentially the, um, the root canal Esque thing. Um, why don't the Dark Interval people not like you? Well, I heard that Sevox, the guy in charge of it, thought I was making Half-Life uh, Alex up HLVR stuff. He he I, he was pretty sure I was making that shit up, uh, which I uh, it's fine. Uh, so I guess their opinions probably changed with me a bit. But I was, you know, I was. You're right, I was making it up. I'm sorry. 
Oh, great. All right, let's do that again. <laughs> Fucking one hit. We're playing on hard, I think. Oh, is there not a hard? Yeah, this HUD's really weird. No, the queue is not open. We don't play uh, song requests during mods because I don't want it to interrupt the music and like ruin the experience the modders wanted. We do uh, song requests for multiplayer games and Team Fortress 2, that kind of stuff, you know? Note that this mod has very limited resources, so use them smartly. Okay. So I guess there's some stuff going on in this game that I wasn't aware of. Nice. Nice. Oh boy, Reno's here, everybody. 20 gift subs from Reno. Nice. Nice. So it's some kind of like industrial zone thing, factory thing. Nice. Damn. Very limited resources in this mod. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay, I picked up a shotgun. Picked up some ammo. Nice. I don't know what this does, but we'll. we'll it, it did something. Nice. It turned the fire on. Nice. Okay. Fire was turned on. Nice. Are these even, like, recreated civil protection officers nice. at all? These just look like normal CPs. Nice. Alex, how do you feel today? Nice. Let's go. I'm glad to hear it. You had to push a button nice. in that room. Yeah, that's one of the problems I have with these beta mods, is you have no fucking clue what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to push a nice. button in that room. Push a... Oh, there is a button in this room. Yep. Nice. Push the button. What was the point of that, like, apartment, like, fire escape thing over nice. there? Nice. 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 All right. Yeah, it's a it's a very beta looking environment. They're kind of cool. Those props are neat. What? Yeah? Nice. Nice. Thanks for the donation, brah. Exclamation point donate in the chat. Why is she wearing normal clothes and he's wearing beta clothes? This seems very unfinished. Wasted ammo. Oh shit, you're right. Uh-oh. That's the turret. Okay, that's neat. Did 
you think Gabe's gonna pay those New Zealand taxes? He's a billionaire. Of course not. You think billionaires pay taxes? What are you, five? It's not how the world works. What the hell? <laughs> That's so goofy. Yo. Yeah, this looks like something out of the beta. Not interesting, Toe. Burian. Where are my HL1 beta recreation mods? Why is there only one HL1 beta recreation mod? There's a lot. Love, Sir Perry. You got Shaft, you got In Deep, you got uh, Other Shaft, you got uh, Preliminary, you got the one that just came out. Wow, look at this beta. <laughs> Those are beta workers, by the way. I know. This fucking attack is so goofy. Remaining units contained. Why is it transparent? That's weird. Oh, okay. Uh, I have full. That's a lot of resources. Do the grenades look any different? I can't tell. <gasps> no. I hope there. I wish there was a Half Life Alex or have Valve Giga Leak because the final hours was immensely disappointing. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? I sure love when uh, somebody tells you that something exists and then literally doesn't go into any more detail whatsoever ever on it. Now, how the hell? Whoa, what the uh, but What? Hey look, it's Cream Boy. Sterling, you love Cream Boy. No! No! no. I don't think if I don't think so. Can I drive these things? Nice. Nice. Great fire graphic. You're a good fire graphic. God. Ah, uh, it's a brick door. Man, I sure hate brick doors. Hello. <laughs> My God. Remaining units contained. Ooh. Pots. Pot. Ooh, that pot had a battery in it. Thank you. Where, where am I getting shot at from? This is, this is annoying. I don't know where my enemy is. Oh, wait, they're up there. Can I get up there? From in here? I think the final hours would have been much better if it had actually been at Valve. If... 
Jeff had actually been at Valve and wasn't already involved with the Game Awards as Half-Life Alex approached its announcement. Uh, yeah, it screams of, I didn't want to finish, I didn't want to go and do more work for this. It screams of, I want to do the Summer of Games and I want to stop being bothered about it, so let's just fucking release it. Fuck it, I don't care. <sighs> Maybe, what's with this transparency effect? I don't know if I like it. Nope. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, I didn't look at the arrow on the wall. Similar to Dishonored's effect. Um, I didn't know I was playing Dishonored. All of this has been one map so far. That's kind of impressive. Hello? Hi. Ooh. No parking. Ooh, no parking. Handwritten note says, no more than two at a time. Okay, well that means I'm gonna do three. Fuck you. Wait, why? Wait, are these fuses? What? Y'all have been working on part two for what feels like years. Um. What did I do? What? What? Is that the G-Man? No. What, what, what? 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 Excuse me? Okay. I blew up a fucking building. How? Why did I do that? This is a nice environment. I like this environment. Holy! Yo, thanks for the two dollars on the Patreon. Exclamation point Patreon in the chat. X oh, hello there, buddy. Holy! Where's the resin? I know. I'm looking all over for it. I can't seem to find any. Ooh, cold drinks. Ooh, cold drinks. Ooh, I'd love a cold drink. Ooh, I love when my drinks are cold. Ooh, that guy, that guy's dead. <laughs> it's a crate full of guns. <laughs> that crate was literally full of guns. Whoa. What the hell? Whoa, what's going on? Was it from the cold drink? Was it from that cold drink I had? 
Oh, it's the scanner's stun attack. What the fuck? Run, 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 run. Oh, you think, uh, you think you sent enough people to take care of me? Yeah, fuck. I got a brain freeze. Nice. Valve releases surprise update to last four months. I don't know how to take care of this guy. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't. I didn't expect that at all. I'm, I'm going downstairs. I'm going downstairs. Ah, fuck. Let me go downstairs, please. Ah! Wow! Damn it, this is hard. Okay. Ah, uh, fuck! Fuck! Piss! Piss! Ah! Uh, thank God. Big old pile of guns here. Where would I be with- Oh shit, he followed me! Wow. Falling back here? No, 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 no. Damn it. Fuck. Cremator's big though. Yeah, it's dark interval. Ah, damn. Oh, wow. No, no, fuck, fuck, ah. Man, ouch. Oh, somebody followed me. Oh, there he is. Can you guys not do stairs? What the fuck? Can cremators be killed? He about to blow up? <gasps> that was pretty cool. Oh fuck, more. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I hit you! Wow! Wow! There's gotta be some resources around here somewhere. Oh, I found the secret brain bust. The jams stop. Does this mean I'm safe? I don't know. Oh, hi. Sorry. Oh, don't, dude, don't worry about it. <laughs> what the hell is that guy doing there? Oh, health. Ya boy. Got a ya health. Wait, is there more health? Oh, you're just stuck. I'm sorry. 
I think the Reno is an alien. Okay. Uh, Reno, prove your humanity by donating $400. That way, everybody gets to see some cut TF2 features in action. They get the, the 411 on my upcoming video. And they get to watch tomorrow's video early. So. Hey, man. You know, maybe maybe donate. You'll be able to see what happens. X makes point donate in the chat, you know? I don't know what I did. But I did it. And I'm proud. I did it. I'm good. I turned off the... Oh, I turned off the thing. Okay. First you donate, then you bonate. Wow. It's beta. It's beta. Beta better than the game. Beta better. The beta's better. Hi. Ouch. <laughs> Fuck off. Beta is better. Did the map even change? The map has changed once. <laughs> beta don't bet. <laughs> Nice. Alpha is the best. Alpha's the best. Oh look, a broken lever. A broken lever. That's just full of con. It's, it's a full. Of, it's full of rations. Why is it full of rations? Was it full of rations? What? At Colon. How much money have you given me in the last, like, few months? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, let's just keep playing this game we're playing. He's a billionaire? If he's only, like, 1400 bucks? Yeah, like... Only like two months of rent. <laughs> it's like it's nothing, fucking nothing. Jesus fucking Christ. Not counting the donation stuff. Which is the major. I'm not even. Okay. Uh, thank you. This is where it came from, right? Oh, the Black Lives Matter donation stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, that, yeah, okay. Again, thank you for for doing that when you did. That was very very nice of you. Um, okay, big problem with this fucking what? mod. It'll do my part as well. Don't have Reno money though, low. <laughs> no one. I don't have Reno money. I mean, I do have Reno money, like in a literal sense. What? More like one month of rent for me. Sad face. Oh, oh shit. Are not counting donations. No clue. Because all I do is donate. Yeah. Love Sir Perry and the underscore Reno. <sighs> Where did you get the fuck off money, Reno? Um. What? 
Hey it's been a long time since I seen your name online AIM is in a decline can we get a little rewind? What? Yeah big big problem with this mod. Uh, I have no fucking clue where I'm supposed to go. This is a major problem with a lot of, uh, of fan-made Half-Life content, is just a lack of explaining where the hell you're supposed to go. You're giving me a lot of grenades, and that makes me think I'm supposed what? to do something with a grenade. Imagine enjoying Tyler's content and not donating for awesome dono goals like this. Oh, this dono goal's worth it. It's definitely what? worth it. Yeah. Here is my one. Thank you, Bebo. It didn't show up for some reason, but Bebo, thank you for the, the, the four dollars. No, 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 no. These aren't scrap maps at what? all. These are completely original. Are you excited for the Shin Megami Tensei games coming out next year? I've never played any of them. Um, unless you count Persona 4 as a Shin Megami... Wait, it's, am I supposed to go over here? Man, I don't... By the way, if we hit the donation goal, we're going to do the thing after this mod. I'm not interrupting the mod, just so you know. What if the, like there's only one person watching and it's just the Reno with a bunch of fucking accounts? Oh, did I tell you my stalker became a Grubhub driver? He wouldn't fucking leave my porch. That was fun. The knife kid from forever ago? Yeah. I am not a Grubhub driver. No, not you. What? Yo. And my axe. All right, there's the dono goal. That was, we're 40 minutes into the stream and we've already made 400 bucks. What? All right, thank Tyler, you. Tyler, do you like eggs? I love them. Egg sandwiches, scrambled eggs, fried rice with eggs. Yeah, I have no idea where to go. Can someone tell me where to go? How do you even get a stalker? Man, I don't know. Through the window. Out the window inside. Out the window. You really gotta communicate this shit better. Who? What? Map text? Tyler dumb. No, I mean, Tyler is dumb, but I, I really think that this mod needs a bit better in terms of communication on where players are supposed to go. Alright, this feels like a map load area. Really? No. Okay. Damn. These maps are fucking big. Barney! Gordon! Kleiner and I will try and get you out of the city. You'll have better chances on foot, though. The MPs will have a harder... Now, come on. I'll let you through. If you're lucky, maybe you can sneak past the cops. They're busy rounding up the citizens. Now you be careful out there. Ooh, an old synth ship. I always like that design. So wait, was that... Was that Barney talking to me in that, that map text? Uh, 
All right, it sounds like I can sneak. It sounds like sneaking is option. That was the citizen himself yelling at me? Okay. So somebody walk me through the beta storyline because I'm kind of lost as to what the fuck this is supposed to be. Oh, okay. Yeah, they see me. What, what the hell was that? Was that was that fucking grub? Bus. What do you mean? But we're about to do beta bus? Right now, you're trying to get to Eli's place. All right, you're on your way on foot to Eli's place back when he was a a dirty a, a dirty person who lived in the lived in the filth. Beta bus, beta bus, beta bus. Eli Maxwell. All right, so this is, this is like root canal in retail then. Just like really weird canals kind of stuff. And then you get to Eli and then that would lead you into the, the wasteland, right? They're doing ba babies. They're doing babies. Oh, that, you know what I mean. Break the plate. All right. Uh, I give this mod zero out of ten. You can't break the plate. It sounds like you can break the plate, but you can't. Still, this is supposed to be like a like a four map demo or something, and we're still only on map two. This is, this, is, this is pretty long. Damn, that hurts. What? Yo. I just wanted to say I really enjoy your last stream where you talked about the Nintendo Giga Leap. Oh, hell There's yeah. There's a lot of misinformation about the leap going around. Yeah. Hopefully we get more cool stuff tomorrow. <laughs> um, don't count on it. Um, it could be months before we get anything else. I don't want people going around thinking, oh, oh, they usually leak on Friday. Like, that is a consistency within it. Usually, but that doesn't mean you're gonna be getting something every Friday, right? Right now they may be a little The people behind the leaks might be a little scared Because of like the absurd amount of attention that these last leaks got compared to like the Pokemon stuff Does this make the Q&A time over eight hours? No, I turned that off for this stream because there, uh, I have been so busy with the video we're about to watch after the stream as you'll see you're, you're, when we watch this video, you'll understand where what I've been doing for the last few days. Um, no, I'm very frazzled lately because, like, my brain is just fucking... You know when you take a math test? Electra and I call it math test brain. When you take a really hard math test and you walk out of class... ...and your brain hurts... ...that. I, I, I have been in a perpetual state of that for the last couple days trying to um <clears throat> get through this uh get through this video what was the point of that it opened a gate now we're really going into the canals what come on Yo-yo, sent you some more cream boy items what cut soldier would you want to see next Ooh. um if i'm gonna be completely honest the jousting one with the horse Seeing how well you did- we'll talk about this after the, the game. Seeing how well you did the cremator, do the horse. Seriously, do the horse. That fucking horse looks awesome. Ooh, I like this song. It's like the same motif. As the Half-Life 1 track. The one they like Valve liked so much they put it in Half-Life- Oh, boy. All right, now we're really in root canal. 
So that really, it wasn't like Root Canal. It was like a weird beginning bit. I'm dead. Man, these Combine, they have an um, impeccable aim in this mod. Yeah, just kill me. Ooh, Robo Jeff though. It would be cool if we could get a Jeff replacement, like with all the same kind of capabilities as normal Jeff. But, oh, oh no! Oh, Gordon can't catch a fucking break. Wait, is this real? This is a little extra room. I thought this is where I was supposed to go. Oh boy. Oh God. Uh, nice. Sorry. This is just. It's just this map. These. Uh, just, I have no fucking clue where to go. Remaining units contains. Just let me get my feet back on the ground here. I love that. Nice. All nice. right. Nice. Remaining units contained. I was, I don't know why, but I like, I found just like YouTube recommended me my old Dangerous World playthrough VOD from like in the when I was living in the shack it was like 2018 ooh suit charger and I watched through bits of it and I was like oh wow dangerous world was really really good dangerous world was so good best controller for Nintendo 64 games GameCube controller there's a company called Rafnet they sell an adapter that lets you plug in a GameCube controller into your Nintendo 64. Um, they're so good that they're always sold out. I haven't been able to get one. I've been trying to get one for a long time. Um, but they're the same company that I bought the... Um, damn, that, that hurt me from over here. They're the same company that I bought the... Uh, it's a it's a controller adapter that plugs into the GameCube that lets you plug in Super Nintendo controllers. And I bought that for the, the Game Boy player. Oh my god. Two of them. That's insane. These guys are tough. They really should make noise. I'm noticing they don't make any noise. Also, God Mode makes it so that I don't have to reload my gun. Ever considered RBGing, er, RBG modding your consoles? I did. I have a, an RBG modded N64. I use FPGA clone uh, Super Nintendo and uh, NES consoles that have HDMI output. I have the um, GC video mod for um, GameCube. Uh, plugs in through Wii component cables into a no SSC. I love that kind of stuff, yeah. And if Nintendo News Network, like, ever becomes, like, an actual pillar of my job, then, you know, be a good reason to have that kind of stuff. Now, do you have any interest playing Fall Guys? No. They're hella weak in the head. Oh, okay. <laughs> they should, like, make loud, like, footsteps. And they should have loud breathing. <laughs> I remember Insolence, which is a really old beta mod from, like, 2013, had really good sounds for the cremators. I was a really big fan of their cremator implementation. <sighs> I'd really like an SMG, if I'm going to be honest. You had artifact video done by a member of the community. Would you consider yourself doing it for Nintendo? Yes. Like Simple Flip's doing it? Simple Flip's was supposed to have a part in the history of the Super Mario 64 video. But it didn't pan out. Oh, that's cool. That's fucking cool. 
<laughs> That's fucking cool. Yeah, I haven't talked to Simp in a little while, but I love that guy. Such a, such a nice guy. But yeah, I'm, I'm very interested in, in getting back to doing Nintendo News Network stuff. Especially in the face of this Giga leak. And like research on leaks and, and, and protos and things is kind of a specialty of mine, so... I haven't actually talked to him about the Giga leak. I'm sure, because I'm sure in the same way that like whenever anything Valve happens, I get like a thousand people messaging me about it that I'm sure he didn't want to be like super bothered about it. It's like a weird wasteland canals. Kind of cool. I like the music in this. The music in this game is quite good. Oh, these guys. Some weird echo effects going on. Yeah, I really like the atmosphere that Dark Interval goes for. It's just, you know, their level design, at least on this end, I haven't played Dark Interval Part 1 in quite a long time. Funneling the player needs work. Truck butt update when? You're gonna have to ask Laidlaw about that. That's Laidlaw's thing. I just found the files. Hey! <laughs> oh, I love that. Fuck you! Uh, I am gonna be streaming Paper Mario and Origami King here pretty soon. Been thinking about doing a Mario RPG uh, marathon on live streams to like kickstart Nintendo News Network streams. Bro, November's in two months. No, it's not. It's it's almost August, which means October's in two months. If you made a full video talking about everything in the Giga Leak in at least decent amount of detail, I'd love you forever. Everything? Jesus. That's not my that's not what I want to do. Like I know my I, I have it outlined what I'm gonna be doing with it when it comes time for me to talk about it. September, first week of September. Ah Jesus. Oh wow, it's driving to like aim at me. That's fucking cool. Hi. Ah, 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 mistake, regret. Oh shit, you're here. Hi! <laughs> I didn't notice! When did you get here? Oh, it's like it's a projectile! I th oh! No wonder it was so fucking hard to figure- Ah, oh, I thought it was a flamethrower. The emulator is completely different in this game. It's like the fucking, uh, what's that weapon called? Gas passer? No. Dragon's Fury? Dragon's Breath? I forget what it's called. Dragon's Fury, yeah. Can you believe that shit came out three years ago? Oh my god, I've, I'm getting old! I am gaining weight! I really like the atmosphere that this is going for right now. I think this is actually quite good. This map right here is my favorite one of the bunch so far. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's going on? Very detailed. Oh, fuck. Hey, what's up? I do not like this model. I think that is quite an ugly hound eye. Oh, fuck. Hey, Dad. Oh, I just said it. Dad, I said it. Damn it. Oh! Poisonous ones. What the hell? Wait, they turn blue when you kill them? Or is that a different species? Oops. 
Embrace the dad jokes. Fuck no. I will not. I am better. I am growing. Yeah, these are some big ass. Is that an ice hound eye? What kind of fucking beta concept are you referencing with the fucking ice hound eye? Oh, they just have different colors. That's kind of cool. I just don't like the model design. HL2 beta hound eyes were multiple colors. Learn something about the beta every day. My God. I'm Valve News Network. Still learning stuff about the beta. See, I want to make a video series called The Beginner's Guide to the Half-Life 2 Leak. And, you know... It's just, I feel like I can't. Like, I, I'm not... Like, I don't know enough about it, you know? There's just too much I'm uninformed on. I think it's... I think the problem that I have with these hound eyes is that their legs are just way too fucking skinny and a little too long compared to their bodies. Like, their bodies just seem way too high off the ground. You know what I mean? Like, hound eyes seem kind of like chubby in Half-Life 1. You are the be- You are the beginner, Tyler. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, they need to be kind of thick. They're, they're like these little chubby puppy dog things that you're, you murder. You know. Chubby and squat. Yeah, exactly. Okay, who- Oh, I reloaded. Hold on. Okay, so I reloaded a save and I lost all the atmosphere. Sorry. <sighs> it's amazing what atmosphere, like just atmospheric sounds do for your map. Half-Life Alex modders, take fucking note. If if your map is quiet, it's worse. Even regardless of how good your art is, it's worse than a semi-decent map with excellent sound design. What the fuck am I looking at? What is this blood water? Oh, good God. This mod's kind of fucking hard! Is there a cremator in this version? Yeah, you missed him. I've fought like three or four of them at this point. Ah, oh, damn, I'm dead. Jesus. Hitting me from all the way up there with a goddamn pistol! It's not fucking fair. Boy, is that a grenade round? Yeah. Boink! That didn't kill him. Whoa. We got some Zen floaters. Fucking cool. Do any- Oh, I don't even- I don't like his sound either. I don't like these hound eyes. Feel like y'all can do better with these. Ouch. Fucking just launch him. Can I shoot these guys? I can. I'm hearing my HEV suit say some weird shit. Oh, 
gonna leave you to it. Oh no, come on. Ah, no. No. What did I do? I, was, I just went to work. I was only a little late. You think maybe this punishment is a little harsh for being late? Uh, I'm out of here. Fuck your couch. Oh, wait, no, this is toxic. Are head crabs in this version? Y y no. Nice. Nice. Neat. Yeah, neat. All right, hold on. Damn, I like this big ass factory in the distance that I'm like approaching slowly. Oh my! Jeez, really coming up on me. Ouch! Fuck you, dude. I can already see what you're doing with this. Just pull the big piece of rebar out of the wheel. Oh god, alright, I'm out. Tyler, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Alright, is it a map load yet? Like, my fucking god. Okay, Jesus. All right, are we on the third map or the fourth map? Because, oh my God, these maps are um, just huge. Why are you putting rebar in the fucking wheels? This is the fourth. Ooh, I like the colored lighting. I like it a lot. Boing. This actually reminds me of Half-Life Alex more than anything. Half-Life Alex had some oh had some beta inspiration in there. Eh, just don't mind me, okay. Far more beta inspired in its original version of the story, but Far more beta inspired in its beta! Isn't that nice? Man. Favorite Valve... You alright? Favorite Valve game of all time is Portal 1. He is reliving his death. Call 911. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, are we making it to Eli's place before this is over? What? Thanks and have fun. Okay. I'll try. Hey, y'all. Oh, look at that. They nailed... <laughs> they nailed a milk crate to the wall so they could put a lamp in it. My question is, though, how the lamp get in power? Cute design doesn't make any sense. So this is a nice little like rebel outpost. That's cute. Uh, we're being infested right now, but I, I can help you out with that. Oh, okay. That's much deeper than I anticipated it. That's what she said. That's what he said. Maybe. 
But he could say it. I like this purple room. This is the purple room. This is where people get it on. Where people bone. It's where people get into the bone zone. Man, this attack makes the, the the fucking crowbar the most powerful weapon in the goddamn game. Hey, I'm taking your health. Is that all right, guys? Don't worry about me. Uh, in in this storyline, you're not very aware of who I am. In the beta, I'm not the fucking messiah. I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy, and life is a nightmare. I was late to work, and now a guy in a suit kidnaps me. Is Eli in this version? I don't know. I'm playing it for the first time, and I just went in a circle. Okay. Hey, guys. I cleared. Yep, yeah, I cleared him out. Don't worry about it. We're all good. Nice. All right. Yes. Infestation cleared. Yes. Oh, we go this way. Bye, guys. I don't know how I feel about these. They're weird. What is that noise? Oh, it's the noise they make. Weep! Weep! <laughs> Weep! Whoa! Is that a picture of Black Mesa? Like the mod? It's Half-Life 1? Okay. Ah, you didn't make it. I could help, but my resources are really limited. Oh, hey. Healing pool. Oh man, if only that guy knew about this healing pool. Cremator. I'm out. Yeah, they look wrong. They look wrong. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Seavox will hate me again because I'm critiquing his mod, but mm, just don't like him. Cream tater. What the fuck is a cream tater? <laughs> I just saw a Zen floater over there. Whoa. <laughs> Can I kill him? I 
don't think we're getting to Eli in time. Ah. Gordon! I lost my leg, Gordon! The portal storm! Gordon! Oh, Gordon, they took my leg, Gordon! The combine! The combine took my leg! They, they're they using it to... 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 to build... an... a leg! Gordon! Man hacks Gordon. I managed to packet this combine data pod, Gordon. Gordon the cremator. Gordon! What? They're, they're driving! I think with the company psychologist amongst other factors on staff are likely the reasons that the only way we will ever see Valve's skeletons ever seen properly again. A giga leak is needed for those skeletons to be seen. You agree, disagree? I can't support something like that, Gordon. Because every time something leaks nowadays, I'm the one that gets blamed, regardless of my involvement. Gordon, there's a body. We're gonna play Rebel Surge after the after this, yes, but we're gonna we're gonna watch the video first. That Reno paid three hundred and fifty dollars to watch. I knew it! Son of a bitch and his unforeseen consequences! She's gone, Gordon! She's gone! Son of a bitch and his unforeseen consequences. Mm. Oh, wow. Frame rate. Next slide, please. <laughs> Fuck off. What? I need a Half-Life Alex mod where Jeff is gay and you are trying to smuggle out the Valve Diddly. Please stop associating me with anything like a Valve Giggly. Please. How much you wanna bet this is a jump scare? If fighting is to result in, if fighting is to result in victory, then you must fight. Sun Tzu said that, and I think he, wait, she's gone, maggot, she's gone. Son of a bitch and his unforeseen consequences. I knew it. Come on, maggot. We've got work to do. Moink! Son of a bitch and his unforeseen consequences, Mario! <laughs> Mario! She's gone! 
She's gone, Mario! <laughs> Alright, I think I finished it. I'm your brother! Alright, that is okay. Had it ups, has its ups, has its ups, has its ups, has its downs. <sighs> you guys ready to see the best video I ever made? And I'm not even fucking with you. It is the best video I've made thus far. What? Miss Tyler he. All right, you donated for it, so let's watch it. Let's turn off the... Following the release of Half-Life 2, Valve wanted to start experimenting with the concept of episodic gaming. This started with the announcement of Half-Life 2 Aftermath, a full-length follow-up title Full video. to Half-Life 2. Buckle this in, was done it's for many reasons. Long. However, shortly after the game's announcement, Valve made the decision to rename Aftermath to Episode 1 and announce a trilogy of Aftermaths to complete the story arc set in motion by Half-Life 2. Following the release of Episode 1 in 2006 and the acclaim it received from both fans and critics, Valve became enamored of the episodic gaming concept and not only continued on with their own trilogy, but started asking third-party dev studios to make spin-off Half-Life 2 episodes of their own. At first, Junction Point, Monolith, Gearbox, and EA Montreal were asked to submit pitches for spin-offs, with Junction Point, a studio headed by Deus Ex veteran War Inspector, pitching a humorous take on the Rebels escaping Ravenholm in the events following Half-Life 2. This game, being an entire video's worth of information, was shelved less than a year into development due to Junction Point forming a relationship with Disney and the then-to-be-created Epic Mickey. Okay, so, um, I, I'm working on that video. It's called The Other Cancelled Ravenholm Episode. Um, and it's actually been in development for, like, two years, uh, because one thing that we've been working on for a while is completely recreating that level that leaked, complete with, um... All the assets remade, custom animation, custom voice work, a whole bunch of stuff. It's gonna be good. It'll be out one day. This episode's concept, being a return to Ravenholm following the <coughs> events of Half-Life 2, was pitched to Arcane Studios, based out of Lyon, France, a company which at that point had only shipped two titles, Arx Fatalis and Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, the latter being created in Valve's own Source Engine. Valve was confident in Arcane's abilities to use the Source Engine tool sets, and their working relationship grew quickly. And it's exciting that a design designer as respected and talented as Raphael is finally going to have a chance to take it to the next level. Raphael and his team at Arcane have been great to work with. They understand the technical issues, they understand how to take the capabilities represented by the Source Engine and use them to build really exciting and innovative gameplay. It's an insight into how to take technology and turn it into something that's exciting and meaningful a gamer that really has distinguished their team. Even I'm fairly certain Gabe is reading a script there and does not mean what he's saying. And if the term relationship is being used quite lightly, as Valve is well known for not communicating much with third parties, regardless of the development stage of their own IP. Arcane's take on Ravenhold had nothing to do with the previous Junction Point iteration of this project, and instead was a far more serious take on the concept, with many functions and mechanics taken directly out of their own previous games. However, it was never meant to be, and the project was quietly cancelled nearly two years into development. Before we get to that, I'd like to count for Kleiners. They didn't pay me for event. this stream. The prototype name of your very own bah! Ridge Wallet. Okay. The game, as the prototype name suggests, took place in the trap-filled and zombie-infested town of Ravenholm, taking place at the same time as the events of Half-Life 2's week-long jump during the slow teleport between Nova Prospect and Dr. Kleiner's lab. The player, being Corporal Adrian Shepard, the protagonist of the acclaimed Gearbox-produced expansion pack to Half-Life, Opposing Force, is placed in one of the laboratories of Father Grigori, the crazed monk-turned-gunman from Half-Life 2. Grigori states that the placement of Adrian was an answer to a prayer that he had previously made in order to field backup and support of a mission of dire importance. 
Shepard was placed by the G-Men, who had previously put the Corporal in stasis after the defeat of Race X in Black Mesa, and following a speculated monologue by the G-Man himself, was set loose in what is communicated later to the player as a massive condemned hospital in the outskirts of Ravenholm. Grigori, following the events of Half-Life 2 and the sudden surge of new Zen-infested floral and fauna, began experimenting on a serum to inoculate oneself from the said Zen infestation, keeping a person from being transformed into the types of zombies Gordon Freeman had to face on his way back to the coast. Now, while he claims to have figured a way out to vaccinate himself, done through the extraction of blood of head crabs mixed with a variety of other organic substances, Grigori has had many trials and errors before reaching this speculated point. The hospital the player finds themselves in is infested with the medical failures of Grigori, including zombies of a different breed, completely lacking a host such as a head crab and instead are independently infected, inferred to be a plague of Grigori's own doing, along with a wide variety of primate guinea pigs that have grown in strength, even with a severe weakness to light. Grigori explains to the player that they must get a radio relay operational in order to transmit a message to an unnamed organization in relation to his discovery of the Zen vaccine of sorts, which sends Shepard through the two massive wings of the hospital. The one wing, built first, is stylized around the 1960s, likely the point it was most operational. The other wing, built much later, is stylized around the 1980s and 90s and the player must get through the entire hospital in order to repair and activate electrical sources to help transmit Grigori's message and later escape Ravenholm altogether. Shepard first explores major parts of this hospital alone until meeting back with Grigori in a courtyard of sorts, who then spends the majority of the episode traveling <coughs> together, a la Gordon and Alex in episode one. However, nearing the end of the campaign, the player learns that Grigori's serum failed and in fact had possibly infected him to begin with. Grigori attempts to hide this from the player by starting to wear a large cloak over his head and body without explanation. The game ends with Corporal Shepard fighting and killing Grigori, who had succumbed to the Zen Plague so badly that he quickly became grotesque and malformed. The G-Man then plucks Shepard following the defeat, lamenting the fallen monk, and the credits roll. Now, the mechanics the player sees throughout this episode are far different than anything previously seen in a Valve-created Half-Life experience, such as the player being given an in-depth melee system. First of all, right-click on the mouse does not correlate to a secondary fire mode on any weapon. Instead, it's a secondary punch. Similar to the attack seen in Left 4 Dead, however, with a significant power increase, this punch attack would knock smaller enemies back and sometimes even stagger them or even push them over ledges and cliffs. Another melee attack, being a kick, is almost identical to the kick seen in Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. This attack would have a similar effect to the punch, however, significantly stronger, killing some smaller enemies. Now, the new weapons given to the player, along with returning weapons, need to be redesigned to not have a secondary fire. So, with that in mind, the new weapons given to the player include a nail gun. This is a simple manual fire nail gun with uses attributed to it through the emergent systems seen throughout the game world. This game would not only deal significant damage, but it would also be used to solve electrical puzzles based around nails being used as nodes to carry electrical signals throughout the world. These signals would be used to open doors, activate electrical appliances, or even set traps for unsuspecting enemies. Later in the game, the player would receive an electric ball shotgun. This weapon would have to be charged with electricity seen throughout the world and would fire a massive electric ball, dealing severe damage to anyone in its path and automatically activating things without the need for nails and nodes. This gun does not reload, however, and would only fire the charges that it holds at the present time. The player would also be given a leaf blower jumper, a purely physical based weapon. The leaf blower would blow enemies and items backwards with incredible force. However, only for a short period of time, as the blower could only hold so much power. The blower could be faced downwards as well and used as a painless rocket jumper. A nail grenade, which was a grenade the player could prime, throw, and when detonated, sent an explosion of electrified nails in all directions activating any objects in the area, as well as pinning and also electrocuting any NPCs around. <clears throat> the enemies the players would face include hostless zombies, far more intelligent than the zombies Half-Life players are used to at this point, as they still held sight. These zombies could pull doors off their hinges, break through walls others couldn't, and overall were a significantly larger threat to the players than anything seen prior. Players also faced bruiser zombies. Think of the Charger from Left 4 Dead 2. The bruiser is a behemoth zombie that can hurl massive objects at the player, 
as well as completely incapacitate them through a wide range of available attacks. This zombie can also spit acid at the player, which can pool on the ground and cause damage when touched. Remember, this was a full year before Left 4 Dead 1 launched. And lastly, players would fight corrupted primates, a set of monkeys that were tested on by Grigori, and through failed experiments were given heightened intelligence and strength. They almost always travel to attack in packs and use the cover of darkness to their advantage, initially presented to the player through a series of creepy instances and situations. The monkeys are deadly, but with a weakness. If a player shines a flashlight directly at their faces, they would momentarily back off. However, they combat this weakness by attacking from all sides, limiting the effectiveness of any light source. And then, of course, the game would end with a Father Grigori boss fight, Grigori being so grotesque due to the many Zen fighting serums that he injected himself with, all failing and turning him into a Zen monstrosity. The game also featured emergent systems based around objects that a player would expect to see within a hospital setting, such as ceiling fans being able to be pulled down, activated, and then used as a spinning blade trap like those seen in Half-Life 2. The absorption meter. With a large focus of electricity in this game, the player had a specific amount that they could absorb before officially taking damage. The absorption meter would quickly deplete when in any area of electric activity, and once depleted, would start to damage the player. Movie screens. At one point in the game, the player could activate a film projector, showing a movie on the screen opposite that projector. The NPCs in the room will then become distracted through the duration of the film. Interestingly enough, Enough, the film is a machinima of sorts created in-house by Arcane. Vending machines are very mechanically similar to nail wall traps seen in Might and Magic. If an enemy is pushed back into these, they would be physically harmed by the broken glass and electrocuted by the many electronics seen with inside and most likely killed. Now, the nail gun itself could actually be used on enemies and pin down limbs to surfaces temporarily. However, the zombies would, through a dynamic animation system not previously seen in a Source Engine title, pull their limbs off of that surface surface after a short period of time. And lastly, puddles are incredibly powerful. If a puddle of water is connected to a power source, it would disintegrate any enemy that passes through it. <sighs> Now, how do we know the majority of this information? How am I gathering this much information? It came from an interview that I did with Danny O'Dwyer. Danny recently visited Arcane Leon and Arcane Austin and was given a chance to play such through the majority nice of this canceled Half-Life episode and recorded the whole thing. I talked to Danny about this and he explained the whole experience, significantly more information than that was covered in the documentary itself. Yeah, so uh, you wake up at the stars. Um, I think mm. it's Unwelcome Company, but I think they spelled mm -hmm. Unwelcome wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you start. Uh, so the Grigori stuff there was all one recorded. So there is actually a different voice for Grigori in a different part of the game, but I think it's a third party placeholder. I think it's a different person. So you start in that area, uh, the zombies all come in. He basically opens a hatch that you go down into and he fights them off, kind of like the end of, of Ravenhall, right? Where he fights them mm -hmm. off and you, well, I wonder if I'll see him again. You go downstairs, that's where there's all the dark areas where you're interacting with the, uh, the first zombie I think I kill is the guy who burst through that door and I you kick him into the the spike oh, okay you might be the okay. first one so that with the underwater area where they have the i kick the guy over the handrail so you, you basically walk out a door you meet him uh he walks you out to that courtyard through the little mm -hmm. door there which is where he explains that there's the east wing and west wing of this this uh build mm -hmm. so he talks to you basically that's the, the place where he says look we're trying to turn these generators on it's going to send a signal out or something it's very vague uh then you go in then that's when i smash through the the window to go to where that chair is with the electrical socket mm -hmm. where that's the first electrical puzzle you meet and then the zombies come down the, the hall and they turn to dust that section um is uh predominantly you with the pistol and then getting the whatever they call this like a bolt gun or something i don't mm -hmm. think they had a final name for it the one that shoots the bolts there's a couple of puzzles there's basically like a million puzzles that are all really fun like they nailed this whole section where you're opening doors by tagging the the oh, getting the electrical sockets to to turn on there's lots of places where there's like puddles of water there's areas where there's zombies they've clearly set it up so you can you're supposed to get them there's areas where they have these spinning fans you meet uh yeah so that's that whole area there's a little bit of an outdoor area which is where i i shot the it's my favorite bit of gameplay in the whole thing when i walked the steps in the outdoor courtyard and the zombie starts getting up beside the spinny thing and you shoot the 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 bolt so it connects the the spinny trap with the thing and it's just like mm -hmm. That's pure half. That to me is like, that could be a moment in any half life game. Yeah, you go up the side of that building, but at some stage,
stage after that, you get the the big gun, which they didn't have a name for either. It's basically like a plasma launcher. It, it, there's no right click in this whole thing because you're mm -hmm. just using a melee. So if you just stand near something, it charges up those balls. And those balls like destroy the zombies if you hit them directly with it. I'm not sure if you put any of that gameplay in. At some stage, you end up going downstairs and that's where you find the monkeys, the apes. They're, mm -hmm. they're, there's a guy with a flashlight with that opening um attacks by them and then i'd say there's like three or four set pieces with them there's a lot of like horror games sort of they show themselves and run away and maybe you find one of them and you kill it and it escalates to the the part where i showed where i'm trying to open the door up and they're jumping in it's kind of bright in that area they pick up mm -hmm. the, the, the stuff pick up the kids toys and throw them and then you go into the downstairs area and that's where there's a puzzle where there's basically an electrical lake that you have to turn off the electricity to to get past but in so doing, those monkeys don't come out if, the, if it's bright. So they, and if they don't come out if it's bright, and if you shine the, the lamp in front of them, they, they'll back off. But when you do that, another one flanks you. So you're constantly, it's, it's, it's basically whack-a-mole with those guys. Mm -hmm. um, and then they'll jump into a thing and come out somewhere else. That's where the second piece of unbroken gameplay that we put in. After the bit where I caught, I basically shot a bunch of monkeys and then crossed the lake. And then when you get to the other side of the lake, after that, I think is when I was in the gray box here. You go outside briefly. He said there's supposed to be a V vehicle here that would bring you to another section but they hadn't made the vehicle they had made the transport part for any of that mm -hmm. so it was basically just like a hack to get to the next level the last part that i played is a think about a section in half-life maybe one of the ones where you're picking up turrets and putting them places one of those parts where there's something going on that you're just fighting back waves of things mm -hmm. so there's an area where i think did you see where gregory's going up in the cherry picker is that what you call them here so he's going up on one of those and you have a there's basically like an area that you're playing in there's some gameplay of this in it zombies are coming in you have turrets but they're not the half like two turrets they're like a different type of thing and you're turning on their power by connecting them with the bolts and then also there's a couple of those areas are like steel walkways which are also oh my shooting. god they also go up so there's a bit of gameplay of that in there so you're basically going around filling up your electricity gun your plasma thing over on mm. this wall and then mm. using it to turn on various things i also think you turn on his cherry picker as part of that like you have to like give him some juice and then go over Oof. here and juice this thing up juice Man. this thing up and then take your gun out and shoot them and then eventually he opens up a door and you guys meet on the other side and i think that's when we wrapped on so that was a, like that was an encounter that was clearly finished but like a decent chunk before it hadn't really been finished but it was still like you know yeah you're talking like some of these levels were like felt like they were 80 percent done some of the levels that i played felt like they were fully done except for they definitely wanted to like tweak animations and audio mm. and stuff like that like with placeholders yeah but it was, yeah 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 but when you're playing this game it feels like you know you don't know you can't tell yeah no you have no idea yeah you're in the moment right um, i'm gonna stop danny right there valve released the orange box and burned themselves out completely on half-life following a company-wide prototyping fair they began work on what became portal 2 time left 4 dead 2 and continued maintenance on team fortress 2 and then cancelled episode 3 in 2008 and following pulled the plug on every half-life title in production altogether all at once. At least four different Half-Life games died that one day. Arcane, catching wind of the cancellation, spent two weeks working 24 hours to put together a pitch build of the experience to allow Valve to keep the project alive. Reportedly, most of Valve didn't even look at this build and canceled the game anyways. Arcane states that they, to this day, were never told by Valve why the project was killed. And some assume that it was just about money. Here's the thing. Valve had already experienced a large influx of cash from Steam. They only canceled these projects out of boredom, not business. That's bullshit. So what now? Well, it's so old now that I really don't see a purpose why they couldn't just release this unfinished build and let the community do what they want with it. There's a lot of love and care put into this. According to Danny, this is the project that everybody talks about still to this day. And if you watch the Noclip documentary, they seem to be more attached to this canceled project than some of the games they've released. This was a big mistake on Valve's part, a mistake that they have admitted to following the release of Half-Life Alex. And now that Valve has broken their own Half-Life curse, I don't see a reason why they can't allow the community to experience, at least partially, some of these unexplored areas, unreleased episodes, 
episodes and love and care put into this IP that we could have seen if Valve was maybe a bit more organized. I want to send a huge thank you to Danny from Noclip for allowing me to talk to him about his experience in this unreleased Half-Life game and just all around being a super friendly dude. Seriously, man, thank you. This video would not have been possible without you. If you want to be able to talk to me about any of the topics... All right. How was that? That video took fucking ages to get done. What? Hey Tyler, check Discord. Alright, thank you. Um, I think that's my best video I've ever made. I think that's probably the best video I've ever made. Yet. My favorite, um... My favorite bit of the whole video is how, you know, my big secret weapon of that video being that I interviewed Danny and he was just like, yeah, this is the whole experience. Now, the interview with Danny was an hour long and I had to cut it down to like, like five minutes. Um, and the full interview will be up on Valve News Extra tomorrow as well. Um, and, um... Yeah, we talk a lot about Valve and his experience with Arcane and more uh, uh, abstract things. Um, but uh, it's, you know, we, we talk more at length about different things. Um, but that'll be up tomorrow as well. Um, yeah, so um, a couple little details I, I couldn't figure out how to fit in to the video itself. Um, one of my favorite things that I figured out while doing a lot of um, research on this. So here's uh, what the model of the monkey looks like. It's one of the renders of the monkey that we saw. Notice how the infection that's caused by the, the tests done by Grigori um, cause a, a, a big lump on this shoulder. A, sa a similar lump it happens to Grigori. And that's where the basis of the whole story came from that I used to be able to push forward. You know, I've been talking to a lot of people, you know, Danny is not the only source of this video, but he's the source that like pushed everything forward, you know, to get, get the rest of the stuff. Yeah, it's because he's injecting it there. Yeah. Um, so the monkeys are Grigori's fault. So, all right. Um, Sterling wants me to take, a oh, good God. So Sterling, a uh, member of the community, made this. Um, made this fucking Cremator remake. Look at this shit. Based on that one piece of concept art from the final hours. Look at this model recreation. Look at that. Um, I think it's beautiful. I think it's fucking awesome. I think this is so good. And I cannot wait for somebody to turn it into an actual enemy that you can fight in Half-Life Alex. So there's the original art. There's the... Look at that. So I asked Sterling, Sterling just asked me what would I like to see next. Literally like an hour ago, he's already working on the horse. So he is working on the combine horse. Look at that. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Um, yeah, so. Nice. City said. Oh, damn, that's great. Isn't it? Somebody. Chill. City 17 radio. Songs to relax slash study to. What the fuck is this? Okay. That's stupid. <laughs> All right. Um, so another thing I want to talk about is the other video that I'm working on. Uh, this will be Wednesday's video. It's um, Team Fortress 2 Cut Content, Episode 1, and it's going to be focused on the spy traps. Um, there was going to be a PDA for the spy that allowed you to build um, different traps. Um, and I'm sure you've heard about what these 
are or you know you've heard about these spy traps in the past but here's the the cool twist to it all um how do i put it give me a second So those aren't, those are completely rewritten recreations of the spy traps done by Moonly, co-creator of creators.tf. And, um, how do I put this? Every episode of the cut content of Team Fortress 2 will come with servers that you can join on creators.tf where you can use the cut content for free against other people these aren't using stolen code these are completely rewritten from the ground up from scratch and they're gonna be instanced separate servers specifically for the cut content. We're not gonna be putting that into our main ecosystem, obviously. Um, so it's a, it's a slow process. It's, it's a process that goes slowly over time and the more videos that there are, the more content you can play with. But the spy traps are obviously going to be the first thing. Uh, the video after that will be the engineers cut buildings. And um, yeah, you'll see. We've got a whole list of stuff we're going to be talking about. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be really, really cool. But yeah, um, we have it working. And we're going to be balancing it out for it to be fun to play with. Um, but... Yeah. So that's Wednesday's video. Mini dispenser, uh, speed pad, uh, catapult, uh, a sentry that you could control, move around, which is. Yeah. That's Wednesday's video, but that's also the next, after the Raven Home video comes out tomorrow, I'm not making a video until Wednesday. I'm taking a few days off. So, um, DNA, like cut weapons for the spy, like the DNA gun, uh, the dynamite, um, sapper, the TV sniper rifle, the uh, cement shoes, throwable bricks. We have a whole list of stuff. It's really long. That's the document. Um, yeah, we're working on some cool ass shit. Um, what else? Uh, and then Friday's video, I'm not sure what it'll be. Meaning a week from tomorrow's video. I don't know yet. And I'm also working on Nintendo videos, but those aren't coming out until September, so. All right, let's play one more mod. Um, and then we'll call it a night. I'm getting tired. What should we play? We'll play Rebel Surge, because the, the creator's in the chat. We'll play the other ones another time. Attention. Community. All right, Rebel Surge.
by Sway Bread. Difficulty, hard, rebel surge. He dead. Oh my fucking god, he fucking dead. We're looking for a uh, crowbar. Steven Cabbage telling me this is going to be hard. That's good. Is this a hard mod? Any progress on getting the episode 2 beta build to work properly? I haven't been working on that at all. Same with that TF2 build. It's just not been something I've been very concerned about right now. There's a lot of stuff that I need to do. Um, Crowbar in the milk crate? Client DLL is empty, it won't work. Oh, well then there you go. <laughs> Put lamp in crate, nail crate to wall. Um, crowbar in the server area. Is it? I was trying to do that with other objects. Friggin... That was the G-Man. He's a scary guy. I'm scared. Is this mod scary? Is this mod scary? We have the creator in the chat. Is this a scary mod? Uh oh. Oh no, I have a feel. Oh, that's scary. Ah, uh, why you gotta be scary? Don't be scary. Yellow buttons? Oh, hold on. They seem like they can handle themselves. Hey guys. I got a gravity gun. This is a pretty ass mod. 
This looks pretty good. I see you. I see it. I saw it. Sword and shield, Pokemon, yuck. Yourself, correct yourself, correct yourself, correct yourself. Yes. Ouch. Wouldn't that be cool if I did that? Damn it. Oh, he, 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 he knows. This guy ain't just, just, he's just letting me do it. He didn't even try to fight me. Hey guys, don't mind me, big fan, big fan. Ah! Hold on, I got two buddies over here. Check this out, check this out. I learned this one, I learned this one back at Black Mesa. That was a fuck up. Oh, why are you so high pitch, girl? Hold on. and a lot of resources. I do have guns, but should I use gun? Damn it, what, what the hell is corner boy doing over there? Literally not helping. I murder his friends. Damn, that's gross. I can't remember the last time he took a shower. This could go south real quick. Oh, fuck. Forgot. I didn't... Forgot. The rebels are with me, in a way. As much as, you know, somebody could be with me. You can't pin me down. I like the level design in this a lot. It's very, like, vanilla Valve kind of stuff. Ooh, Dr. Dozzy's here. He makes good shit. 
he made uh, that one map I like a lot. I think Nexus Incursion is his. Uh oh, that sounds bad. That's some Half Life music right there. And I'm running away, and I'm running away. You can't get me to do it because I am running away, and I'm running away, and I'm running away. Running from my problems just like I do every day, and I'm running away, and I'm running away. You can't make me fight those guys, I'm running away. Hey, huh. Yo, nah uh not today, huh? Yo, uh uh not today, huh? Yo, uh uh not today. I'm motherfucking Gordon Freeman. I don't feel like it today. <laughs> Is this Shrek too? Yeah. Man, Overwatch just won't fu fucking shut up. Hmm. Here come the hacks! Someone hacking on the server? Jesus, how long is it? My god. What a fucking idiot that one. Oh, they're still over there. Yeah, I don't know what to do, cause like, I'm playing on hard mode, and they fucking attack quick. They're using- uh, the, Yeah, they- they tear through humans. But, every fiber in my being not to make the noise. Ah, son of a bitch. Nice. Nice. Sound slash vo slash NPC slash female one slash pain oh nine. Ah, son of a Alright, hold on. Ah, ouch. Nope. One more. Got him. All right, we're good. you for that. Fuck you. <laughs> mm. Splash damage, right? Nope. Wait. Oh, wow. Okay, fine. It's fine. I'm fine. That didn't do anything. Man, Steven, fuck you. <laughs> Man, I wish I was playing M mod right now.
Oh man, I saw that that door was open. I thought that was where I was supposed to go, but... Oh, it's just for some resources. Okie dokie. Oh, damn, up there. Let's try it. MLG! Nope. MLG! Close. MLG! Nah. Okay, fuck it. I'm, gonna just, I'm taking a lot of damage. God fucking damn it. Come on! I didn't, I didn't get anybody. Oh! Oh, man. Man, these guys hurt. These guys fucking hurt. Ouch! Alright, I have... Two nades. Use a nade. Great. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell am I supposed to do? This is this is fucking hard. This is really hard. Like, as far as even Half-Life hard mode, ha, you get what I mean. This is really hard. Oh my god, it's the vagina store. Sign me up! Why does it, this sign make that noise when it hits everything? MLG! That's an apothecary? No, it's a pussy store. Damn it. All right, let's just, there. No. Nope. We just have to get lucky with it. Killed someone. Nope. Oh, wait, I saved like a dumbass. Tyler Dom can't even save, save, can't speak. Got him. Fuck off. Jesus. Try that again. Bounce it off the building. Oh, wait. Oh, I might have got somebody. Bounce it off the building. Got somebody the first time. Not the second time. Can I see anybody underneath? Anybody underneath? Can I see anybody underneath? Please? Please? Man, Overwatch, shut your fucking mouth. I'm sick of your voice. Hey, got somebody else. There's somebody over there. One. Two. Man, and uh, you've given me, like, nothing to work with here. Like, there's hard mode, and then there's not possible mode. The pistol is a sniper rifle in this fucking game. I'm very suspect that there is like a secret that I missed up there. 
I think it's possible to get up there if I stack shit. So guess what we're going to be doing for the next 50 minutes? Just prop jump? I don't know how to do that. I mean, Steve Cabbage Man's here. So why don't you, uh, clue me in? Am I wasting my time? Oh, is it not even possible to get up there? Better be possible to get up there, otherwise I don't... Should I disappoint you? Well, I mean, I'm only asking because I'm low on resources and I'd like to find some more. to have missed something, right? Right? Like... Alright, I'm up here now. Dude, the only problem I have with this map is just how often you have Overwatch talking. Like, oh my god. Check behind the sofa. Check behind the sofa. You shut the fuck up. You were unhelpful. Excuse me. Shut up! <gasps> Check behind the sofa. Yeah, yeah, I think you should. Check behind the sofa. Where's the sofa? I don't see no sofa. In that secret room. Oh, in the secret room. You mean the one that I was trying to climb up to? Secret room. Check behind. <gasps> Check behind the sofa. I broke a. I broke a wardrobe on your ass. All right. 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 Here we go. 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 I see you. SMG on full ammo. I did. See, the problem with that is the SMG's really, really bad in long range. You fucking dickhead. 
Your entire health. SMG. Full health. He's fucking. He's bad. Ah. I'm gonna use the vagina store sign on him. Wow, the turret fucking destroyed the vagina store sign. Wow. Cleaning myself of your bullshit. Get in. Because you're trash. Oh, no. Hey, Steven, you think maybe you overdid it on the, uh, capsule protection whatever bullshit with the Overwatch? Because I've heard it like 8,000 times just playing this mod. Uh-oh. on TV today. Is that a new episode? It's gotta be something up there. Steven, you gotta hide more secrets in your maps. Oh, map load. Thank you for reminding me. Yep. Oh, nice. There was a secret at the very beginning that you missed. Fuck, was it the shotgun? Remember when Black Mesa was as bad as it could get? I said the line wrong. Remember when we thought Black Mesa was as bad as it can get? And she's dead. Alright. Why aren't they firing on her? My god, you keep getting in my fucking way. Steven, am I supposed to be playing as Gordon in this? Yes, okay. Thank god. 
She just kept getting in my way. Wow, that's some strong glass. Alright, here we go. What? Mm. See, I thought I was free of it, and then it started again. Alright, now I'm gonna do the thing I'm horrific at, which is aiming a grenade up there. Uh. Oh, he screamed. I don't think it counts, though. This one should. Got him. I can avoid the sniper like no other. But getting the grenade in the hole, oof. Very bad at that. <laughs> cool. Grenades in VR are worse. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Unless you play baseball. Is this City 17? I remember this saying City 16. Yeah. Arrival in City 16. Why does City 16 look so much like City 17? You think it would look at least a little different. Prophecy is true. <gasps> oh, my. Oh, you spoil me. Did he just miss a secret? Check out the Citadel model. Did I miss a secret? No. I, I wasn't looking. Is it a different Citadel? Is it a different? I guess it's slightly different. Is that a different Citadel? I don't know. My brain hurts today. Making that video, like, killed me. Everybody wants big videos like that, but, like, they are so hard to do. That's totally different. Okay. This is the final battle, ain't it? Oh, God. Kind of getting a feeling of what's around me. Join you, Dr. Freeman. Hey, it's me, Dr. Freeman. We got some Half-Life Alex music up in here. Or some HLA sounding music, at least. Yo, my name is Gordon Freeman. 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 Yo, my name is... Gordon Freeman. Yo, my name is 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 Gordon Freeman. Yo, my name is. I don't want to do this. I just don't feel like it. <laughs> wow, I feel fucking weird right now. No, I loved that. That was that was way better than that that stuff I played earlier, but I don't know what I I feel weird today.
It's just like four straight days, like day and like every waking moment working on that video. It's just like, I found my DS um, this morning, one of them. I don't know what made me want to dig it out, but here's my DSi XL. Here's a random picture of my parents before they they got divorced. That's probably from like 09. We're at a we're at a campground there. My uh my parents blamed me for their divorce back in 2012. Show your flip notes. All right. Do I have any downloaded on this system? Oh wow, yes I do. I have four pages of flip notes downloaded. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I do. I have some flip notes here. <laughs> oh god, I do kind of miss Flip Note Studio. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay. Okay, I don't think I missed these anymore. <laughs> this is what we did for fun back in the day, kids. One, two, oatmeal, Herbie is a pink guy. One, two, because Kirby is very cute. This one's all right. Yeah, that one's okay, I guess. Firework parody. Okay, <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, I dug it out so that I could...
play some games and uh I'm, I'm playing this oh wow i'm playing this today realize this game came out 15 years ago though today came out uh 15 years ago that's uh that's a, that's a long time ago. Anyways, um, I hope you're well. Hope you're good. Um, and uh, thank you for hanging out with me today. I'm tired now. It's uh it's 9:30. Video comes out tomorrow. Um Peace and hair grease. Talk to you in a couple days. Adios. Nice. Have a wonderful night, Tyler.